Hello, today I'd like to invite you aboard to discover a grand premiere in the Jeannot Motors line, the new Cap Camera 12.5 WA. After selling thousands of 8 and 10 meter Cap Cameras, Jeannot continues its move up market with this large 40 foot model with three outboard motors. The goal is to take on the luxury day cruiser market. The boat we are on today is the American market version of the Cap Camera 12.5. WA, hence the name Leader. Apart from the name, the boat is identical to the European version. The Cap Camara 12.5 can be equipped with twin engines, such as the famous 425 XTO or with triple 300s. The twin 425s reach a maximum speed of 40 knots while the three 300 horsepower motors will reach maximum speeds of around 40 knots, depending on how the boat is configured. Let me take advantage of being at the stern to point out the swimming platforms. They are, of course, great for swimming, but also for getting around the engines. The big news in terms of design innovation on the Cap Camara 12.5, in addition to the swim platforms, is the electric terrace that opens to the port side, like this. When at anchor, the terrace extends the deck and opens up the cockpit for access to the water. Of course, it's possible to secure the terrace with a lifeline. To get in and out of the water, there is a removable swimming ladder that is very easy to put in place, as you can see. To starboard, there is a gangway door for easy access on board from the dock. The cockpit is large and unencumbered. There is a choice of two tables. The first is a removable polyester table, which is very practical if you want to fish from the cockpit. The second is a fixed teak table with two flaps that can be lowered to make a large sunbed. In either case, the aft bench backrest folds down into a large sunbed. Opposite the cockpit saloon, there is a fully equipped outdoor kitchen. It is a very welcoming living space that you can configure according to your needs. There is a sink, a countertop, which is equipped here with a live well and an electric grill. It is also possible to replace the live well with a second large sink, a gas hob, or a glass ceramic hob are also options. Just below the sink, there is a 49 liter refrigerator, plenty of storage, and space for a second outdoor refrigerator or an ice maker, as you see here. This cockpit saloon can be protected by a simple cloth sunshade or by an electric telescoping sunshade operated by remote control. In terms of storage, to begin, there is a very large locker located here to starboard under the cushion below this lid. What's unique about this locker is that it has a drain, which means, among other things, that it can be filled with ice. To aft, there is a second very large locker that can be used to store the life raft. Under the cockpit floor, there is also a very large storage locker. The boat we are presenting is equipped with all the options, including a Fisher Panda generator and a Seakeeper gyroscopic stabilizer, which I will present later. There are three seats at the helm station. Each is equipped with armrests. The front part of the seat folds up to pilot the boat standing up. These bolster-style seats provide good support when underway. Visibility from the cockpit is excellent. The dashboard instrumentation is well organized and easy to read. The Garmin screens are located side by side in 12 or 16 inch models. Here there are two 16 inch screens. The Yamaha engine instrumentation is to the left of the helm and to the right the famous Yamaha joystick. Maneuvering the boat is very easy thanks to the joystick system. With simple intuitive movements, the pilot can control the lateral movement 
both forward and reverse, as well as the rotation of the boat. This system really makes handling the boat very simple. Also, to the right of the helm is the single lever throttle system. It controls all three motors with just one lever. As I said before, the boat we are on today is equipped with a Seakeeper SK3 gyro stabilizer system. It is a fantastic system that provides maximum comfort on board. It completely attenuates boat roll due to swell or choppy water. When at anchor, you will have a perfectly stable boat, even when there are boats passing nearby creating a wake. It is an ingenious gyroscope system with a high-mass flywheel rotating at very high speed. It compensates for the movement of the boat with an automatic tilt system. Its user controls are extremely simple. There is a touchscreen panel and also a smartphone app. Another unique feature on the new Cap Camera 12.5 WA is the second living area, located forward. It's not just for sunbathing. In fact, it also serves as a second saloon, because it can be equipped with a table. As you can see, the table is very easy to set up and remove, thanks to a very ingenious surface mount system. The forward sunbed lounge chairs are very comfortable. There is also an optional center cushion to transform the entire foredeck into a sunbed. This large forward cockpit can be protected from the sun by a very simple canvas shade. The canvas hangs on the front of the T-top and is held in place by carbon poles. The central backrest of the three large forward lounge chairs can fold down completely to reveal its built-in cup holders. Behind the cushion is a skylight hatch that opens into the forward cabin. Another unique feature on the new Cap Camera 12.5 is the two closed cabins, which I invite you to discover with me now. Access to the interior is through this panel and sliding door. Upon entering the forward cabin, the space on board and the light are a real surprise. There is a large forward saloon and a separate aft owner's cabin with a large double berth and a bench seat, which can be transformed into a large king-size berth. This owner's cabin has plenty of storage space, including a wardrobe, drawers and shelves, as well as a dressing table located above the bench seat. The head is located to starboard. It is a very good size with lots of open space. There is a vanity with a large counter and also a magnificent separate shower. The galley is located to port. It is fully equipped with plenty of storage, a refrigerator and a microwave oven. The boat can be equipped with air conditioning with two separate air conditioning units for a total of 20,000 BTUs. The air conditioning can run when connected to shore power or, when the boat is equipped with a generator, it can also run while cruising. As you have discovered during our tour, the new Jeannot Cap Camera 12.5 is a multifaceted and very innovative boat. It is both a sporty day cruiser with all the space necessary to accommodate a lot of guests and have a great party on deck, taking full advantage of the outdoor kitchen and the great swimming access. But it is also a family boat, ready for cruising and comfort with two closed cabins. The Cap Camara 12.5 will undoubtedly be the star of the upcoming boat shows. To find out more about this new boat, please pay us a visit or contact your local Jeannot dealer.